Greetings, welcome back to the Tupaya. Let's continue our journey. Okay. And the first tempest to the west of Triesta. Please express interest in taking this route. Henry suspects that you may find some peace here for many hard days of travel. There's a called Highwind Curve. Together with Tizo, you venture forth into the multi cracks of Highwind Curve to ensure the path is clear and check for everything of value. Tizo seems happy to be out and about for a change. You sense Tizo's spirit lightened to some extent. The survey is brief and uneventful, even you've done time to with enough time to pursue your locations on your turn. You can hope. Very well then, indicate us if thou canst. You find a remote spot when you and Bertrude can discuss any of her misgivings or fears about your journey or your fellow exiles. The conversation gives perspective and relief. Thus, those are grasp of ancient sorceries grow ever stronger still. to be extracted in exchange. Now you shall keep saving us. You observe Tizo rummaging about the Black Dragon, as though in search of something. He notices you there and rushes up to beat you. Tizo is glad that you are here. He will just revive seeing about old times. But just as quickly he resumes his search. Tizo is looking for something a former exile of, of the uh, Nightwing's wounds gave him. He is growing frustrated that the object he seeks is nowhere to be found. The armors do not notice the long nostrils approach. I am afraid that it is gone, Tizo. I am very sorry. Vida, it is nothing that ought to be cause for so much concern. Merely that Tizo has misplaced something of sentimental value to him. It was just a spare bandage, he indicates, exactly like one of one on his horn. Tizo here has had many adventures with the night winds. Is that not so Tizo? This close in the room. Those memories shall always stay with you. Is that not what matters most of all? He complained this as well. Then, please, do not worry yourself about it anymore. It is a symbol of a distant past, besides. Tizo skulks away up into the rafters, so this from watches him go. The object that he seeks does not exist with that. Tizo searches for it, one of a fleeting memory of his days with the night wings of the past. He performed the regular duties of of other clerk inks at first, but soon distinguished himself. I was not too surprised he was clearly special. He had grown close with the other members of the Night Wings when misfortune fell, the triumvirate fell apart. Perhaps Wolfric has revealed to you more of the details. As for Tizo, I feel he must take, make peace with the shadows of his past somehow. Perhaps then he shall cease searching. You need not worry for him, of course. He is resilient and shall always serve the night wings well. You might say that he was born for it. Begging you pardon, Rita. The lone minister excuses himself in his polite way, leaving me to consider what he said.
guys, you know, you just missed some of the customers and I saw some of my best stuff. Not better than the stuff I saw to you, but if you run into some guys with good stuff, you know where they get it. That's one really of my favorite customers, you know. Downside time. How to sustain oneself with food and drink in such a place as this? The less said of it, the better. Do not complain. Observe. And above all, keep moving. Sources of sustenance avail themselves to those with keen sense. In warmer climates, surf the ground at the break of day for subterrans. In colder places, dig for them, give them purpose. Drinking pools are rare, but moisture in abundance outside of the sand fold. Some is poisonous, take only what you need. The downside limits any opportunities for excess. But it provides enough anime amenities to meet the needs of life. One who withstands it cannot help but feel a sense of gratitude. As you await the stars, a form of the rest in the raiments of the rise approaches you and Wolford. You at first presume it for one of your next adversaries, the fate, but it cannot be one of them. Beside you, Wolford starts something you have never seen him. You observe the colors that he wears, an inverse of the right ones. Oh, Alfred, son. It has been a while. No, this cannot be. The demon unfastened his mask. It can. You perished. I watched you fall. You did. I grieved for years. Yet, now you live. I do. I don't this horse. With a long ear, I could walk again. Unbelievable. Then, why you're here now, Oralek? You're an awful werewolf. You recall him with his mind by mind. The demon Oralek leaves without another word, just as the stars above burst to life and seem to set the sky aflame. So it shall have this no. Reader, what lunacy is this? It would appear the night wings are to stand against themselves this time around. This is a mutiny in violation of the sacred law. The exile whom you face, Oralek. Long ago he had his chance, and he relinquished it. He cannot simply claim it now, and I cannot preside over this nonsense. Good night. What happened to the Fae? The stars showed you to face them. You must have suffered the misfortune of some sort. Tampering with the star's design is not permitted, or like cheating the wolf of the rightful liberty is not permitted either. You must know I took no part in that betrayal. Hurt your heart. Or like, sir, it's nothing for a time then. Where are you, Raymond's Wolfred? I have refused to wear them since, in show of solidarity to you. 
and to elude the voice, I suppose. Yes, that will. I see. You are never good at this anyway. We shall see if that new love of yours is any better. You cannot be serious. What sense is there in us standing against each other? But Oleg puts on his mask and turns ready. I shall crush you, this lot of yours, Wolfred. You shall see that I am not so easily discarded. And you shall not deny my liberty again. Either the adversary whom we face well, he is not one to back down. He was very experienced in the rights, even at the time, and so beware. There was no one in his day who could prevail against him, and he appears even stronger now. I wish I had more valuable advice to give in this. I wish I had foreseen this. He's still our adversary here. Let's put his fire out. Such a triumvirate you have assembled, Wolfred. Then let us see what they can do. Come and face me, false night wings. Tizo fumbles with his mask. He recognizes Oralek and greets him tentatively. It's good to see you. Oralek reaches for his mask and turn. How is the horn mended? This one indicates that his horn has not bothered him for a long time now and thanks to Oralek for it. Good, a full recovery then. But it is unfortunate to see you standing here with them. So, come with us, no questions asked. The proposition seems to catch Tizo off guard. Tizo indicates that he will not abandon his friends or their quest. He seems to be pleading with Oleg to stand down, to listen, to not giving in to anger. But Oleg shakes his head. He pulls his mask back on. This is something I must do, little one. He all downs his mask and down. He trips nothing more. Shows the place. No, look, I don't know who you are, but Wilfred hasn't done anything like that. That isn't why I'm here. Nonsense, do not lie to me. When first Holler and the Nightwings had reform with some forgotten boy, now at the helm, this. I needed to see for myself. And here we have it then. Sounds like you've got me figured out. This that Wolfred would take sides with someone such as this.
You who call yourself the Night Wings, it seems that you have learned something from Sun Oud after all. But you are the Night Wings in name only, and as for the rights, it is a mockery of what it once stood for. All of this a stain upon the legacy of the scribes. Wolfred looks as an oralic departs without another word. Oralic, forgive me. Strange designs of the eight scribes. The everlasting sorcerers are stronger within this land, and we shall yet make further use of them, we think. Changed. Scars resembles now the one with whom we traveled then. I am afraid so. I can only begin to imagine what he has been through all these years. Leader, as you can see, Oralek and I, we have some years in common. A story for another day. 
I need some time to look at how all this affects our plan. Rita, madame, Oralek is a principal person. His freedom was denied him just when it was in his grasp. A doleful tale. Wolfred shall tell you more of him in due time. Of what I have no doubt. For now, it seems the stars besiege you once again, outside. There, deep in the infinite dark, once more you will see a single star shining brighter than the rest. The path to freedom beckons you. Once more then, our new follows Solian. Excellent! Our plan proceeds at pace. We need but continue to make good on all such opportunities that start present. So much as possible. Then, our ranks within the Commonwealth may yet grow strong enough that we shall sway the people toward our cause. It shall be difficult, but the people have their hearts and conscience. Yes. And the Commonwealth has long since lost its way. The never ending wars with the High Wing Remnants. The passing of more sentences of exile than ever before, for increasingly more dubious clauses. The burning of books, the outlawing of literacy. These are corruptions of the teachings of the scribes. Together, we shall prove it soon enough. Wolfred said, What of Oralek? Wolfred says nothing in response at first, but then Oralek appears to have his own agenda now. We shall have to try and keep an eye on him, although our plan remains the same. Anyway, we have a mountain which we need to climb. Let's all rest up a bit, if possible. This night, we fly at break of dawn. This was seems this point in the following the confrontation with Oralek. This was filled with mixed emotions at having seen Oralek again. Like Wolfred, he thought for sure that Oralek had perished long ago. This was angry at Oralek that acted so unfriendly with everyone. Then Tetu Ink looks at you with sadness in his eyes and says no more. He skitters up into the rafters. The night wings. What is a life without an, without an adversary? If not for forces that conspire against the will, life would be devoid of its innate inattentiveness, <laughs> the desire to overcome. Thus, when we the eight at last each freshen a triumvirate based on our own ideals, we realize a void still needed to be filled as the night sky needs moonlight. We eight were united, our triumvirates shared our, affect our affection. They needed us to set them all against the common foe. Thus did we form the night wings, a triumvirate envisioned to exceed them all. Both from means mortal and divine, and give an undue favor in which turning of a cycle, they are the adversary we all face. And that's it for tonight. Thank you. Bye bye.